Hi everyone, it's Tammy and I have a couple bags here from Wool Warehouse to show you. And I have to say that I was worried that they wouldn't come because I ordered these probably three and a half weeks ago. And um, normally from the Wool Warehouse, things come very, very quickly, sorry. But this time, one of the bags came really early and the other two were late. But better late than never, they're all here now. I just dropped some cards that I made. I need to put those in my take to work pile. I'll put them over here for now, but um, yeah. So I have two of the bags to show you down here, or two different things to show you down here. I took one of the bags upstairs already, so you'll have to forgive me. But most of that, I have duplicated in other bags. So I know that in that bag there was some of this, which is the Drops Air. And this is that yarn that is blown. It has like cotton blown into the actual strands of yarn somehow. I don't know how they do it. But this says a medium thick blown yarn made of baby alpaca and merino wool. So it's very soft. I love this. It's called Air. And I also got one called Sky. And I'm going to pull that out now so you can see that. This is the Sky. They're both very similar. If you guys have used Wolf Oak, it's kind of similar to that. I am loving it. Oh my goodness. This might be closer to the Wolf Oak Luft. And this one might be closer to the Wolf Oak Far. I think I have that right. I could have it backwards. But, um... They're both very, very nice. I love them both. They're super light and super great and just wonderful. So I'm making a sweater with air right now and I'm making a hat with sky. So I'll see how those work up and I'll let you guys know in one of my knitting videos. So I got several of these because I wanted to make, a, um, I believe it's a sweater that I have picked out for that. Lots of that. <laughs> Goodness gracious. And then I have this Drops Brushed Alpaca Silk, and this is in the off-white color, so it's kind of, let me put it next to this, it's kind of uh, washing out, but oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. And I think that this is one, oh my gosh, that you would have to hold with another because it is really thin as far as I can tell. Um, I'm sure like if you, when you work with it, it, it kind of, plumps up a little but oh my gosh it is beautiful and I have this in mind for a sweater for Katie and I'm going to hold it with this which is the baby alpaca silk and I was going to hold those two together to make a sweater for her and I am super excited about that this is super soft too and this is it says to use a US size 4 and there's 50 grams, 183 yards. And in these, I didn't tell you, sorry, there is 25 grams and 153 yards. And this one says to use a US size eight. So it does say to use a bigger needle. And then the sky is a US size six. And it is 207 yards and 50 grams. And the air is, oh, and I didn't even go through what the stuff is. So let me do all of that. The air is a size eight needle, 50 grams, 164 yards. It's 65% alpaca, 28% polyamide, and 7% wool. And this one is 74% alpaca, 18% polyamide, and 8% wool. And this one is 77% alpaca, 23% silk. And it's the silk alpaca. And this one is the baby alpaca silk. <laughs> Did you see a theme here? And this is, it says to use a US size four and it's 50 grams and 183 yards, 70% alpaca, 30% silk. So these are kind of opposite each other and they're just beautiful. I think they're gonna be beautiful together. This is really silky and soft. 
So I'm excited about that with a sweater for Kitty. I think it'll be beautiful. I also got this, I think it's called Fog, this gray color. And I got red. And this is all going to be in a sweater for me, I think. These were like highlighty colors. This actually might be in a lavender. I, I thought I saw it in voice, but I don't see it right now. Um, and then there's one more color, which is this one. So I thought that those looked good together. And that is everything, because I just have multiples of the whites to do a sweater, and I have multiples of the air to do a sweater. So that is everything in that bag. And then in the other bag, I have all sky, which makes me happy because it is beautiful yarn. And I really can't wait to see how it yarns up. So all of this stuff I purchased in 2018. So I am considering this a 2018 purchase, obviously, since I paid for it then. But um, I'm trying not to buy much new in the new year, at least for a little while. So of the sky, I got several of the whites, and I'll pull them out so you can see, but the only thing in here is sky, so there's just different colors. I have off-white and a dusty pink and then a beautiful gray. And I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the gray. I think I have eight of the white and I have two of the pink so and I think they look beautiful together it's kind of an 80s look but I'm an 80s girl so what can I say so that is all from the wool warehouse I highly recommend them even when they were late I, I sent them a message because I had made two purchases and I'd gotten the second purchase but I still hadn't gotten the first purchase so I sent them an email and they were super kind And they said to give them a minute, and if they haven't, if I hadn't gotten it by, I think, next week, that they said to give them a call, and they would either reimburse or resend. So what more can you ask for? It was great. So the Wool Warehouse, I absolutely recommend them. They do charge you in sterling, so you have to do that conversion for the U.S. dollar. That's about one and a half the U.S. dollar, so it might say a dollar sixty-six for some of the yarn, and it ends up being for me two dollars and fifteen cents or something but um, still it's not very expensive it seems to be reasonably priced and shipping is free if you hit a certain mark I don't remember what that mark is it might be sixty US dollars I don't remember exactly it could be a hundred and fifty oh, I don't remember but um, I usually have no problem hitting the mark and I love it so I hope that you guys give it a try thanks for watching guys bye bye